Okay, you ready? Hello? Oh my god. What? What happened to you? I thought you said you had to go downstairs and you were just being like, Oh, I ain't, I'm not gonna tell him, it'll be funny. I did! So you did go downstairs without telling me, which is why you weren't saying anything when I said, Were you ready? <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Hello, I am your friendly neighborhood luchador El Phenomeno, and that prick over there is Avion. Wow, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean, what the fuck? You know what he did to deserve that. Jesus. Anyway, I have a bone to pick with you. I have two bones to pick with you, actually. With me? Yeah, you. What? Wait, what? why? <laughs> One, you said that summons never leave. They don't have a time limit. That you they went don't. to sleep... And you came back, and the summon was still there. Guess what? It was! They do what? have a time limit. What? What? Yes, what they do. About? When I was going through this area, my summon ended up fading away, even though I was still in the area you could summon them in. Uh, what? Yes. I don't understand. Because they, she oh, was no, out I mean, for so long. No, that, I mean, that can happen if you kill everything in the area. I didn't kill, kill everything, everything in the area. area. There was still oh. stuff to kill. And two, you told me not to go to the precipice of anticipation because there's nothing there. It wasn't. I have one guy. four characters right now. Right? Yeah. With three yeah. of those characters, I went to each different place. We saw what we saw with Nero. The Crucible Knight that gave nothing. With the female he guts... Yes, he gave nothing. With female guts, I went to the other place, and I saw a beautiful view, and I fought two hard-as-fuck enemies. You know what they gave me? Nothing. So I went oh, to the... you mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to the precipice of anticipation with this person. You know what I got with them? Oh, two swords. Holy shit, what's that? And that's <laughs> not... That is not all. Fucking look at this. Ashes of a Hawk, revered by all others as sovereign back in the days when Stormvale's wind still raged like no other. The ancient monarch is proud, however, of refusing to answer anyone's summons. I got four things from the place you said specifically not to go to. Oh, what the fuck? I've never seen that. Because you there. didn't fucking look. It was, next, it was in the locked door that I knew would open if you went back there. It was... There was a locked door? There was a locked door! Oh, I'm gonna have to go back there. Jesus cool. Christ. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, four characters. <laughs> this is the one I plan on trying to invade with to see what Vary has to say. Cool. Mm-hmm. But, anywho. His name is Teach? No, Teach is the mage. Oh, oh. I thought you were talking about invading with Peach. Okay. I was nah. gonna say, because Blackbeard is named Teach from One Piece, and I was like, oh shit. That's why I called it, that's why I named him Teach, because I really like the name Teach. It's a really cool name. But anywho, yeah? One Piece? Yeah. Nice choice, good choice, good choice. Anywho. I called what? mine Detective, Spirit Detective from Dark Souls, and uh, I'm sorry, go on, I'm <laughs> trying to talk. We have a number of things that we have to do. During my week-long break, I did a lot of the optional stuff. I did record it, and I did get quite a lot from that. Mainly souls, and pain, and a few weapons. One of we the weapons that I found interesting was this ice rapier, which is pretty cool. But, I did the optional stuff so that we could focus on doing progress today. And we have a lot of progress to get through. Starting with Rajier. Ah, hello. I was hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the night print back, with my thanks. Black night print. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite on the blade. The person who orchestrated the night of the Black Knights, Luna Princess Rani. Ha! Huh. the children born to King Consort Madigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod, what? sister to General Radan and Praetor Rothgard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be what so the bold, I would 
like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. So where is Rani? What the fuck? God. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you completely missed this, didn't you? <laughs> thank you for, well, thank you for making sure I didn't miss it. Why do you want a curse mark? I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Yeah. Do you know of those who live in death. Thanks to D, yeah. In death defies the golden order. By D's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar, Aww. but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life. Hmm. I see. Yes, indeed. If D knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage. Or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. I see. So it seems there might be a split in the path in this quest line. Either side with Roger or side with D. Who are you signing with? With Nero, Rogier. With the female guts, D. Okay. That's why I have so many playthroughs going off at the same time so I can see what's gonna happen. But, yeah. anywho. I am also going to pick a bone with myself because I am an idiot. I am the most sad. I am the most sad. Well, now you get to see what happens through my playthrough. <laughs> I am the most sad. Oh. Oh, you did this? On yeah. your own? Oh, you bitch, nigga. Well, if you didn't go to sleep, you would have seen me go through this entire manner. And you would have seen me fight oh. the dragon here. Wait, wait, wait. So, then... Oh, sweet. You already did all of this? Oh, mm -hmm. sweet. Wait, 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 wait. Is it... Can I watch this? Uh, the video's not out yet, but since I've been on a but break... you have it recorded. Yeah, it's all recorded. Beautiful. Great. All so, right, so, at this point, here, I fought the gl second Glint Blade Dragon in the area, and it pissed off like a coward. And I was really, really, really fucking mad. So mad, in fact, that I completely left this area. Instead you of just going up this goddamn hill... <laughs> ...and seeing... There was a tower that was open here. Rani's rise. However, I'm sorry I was asleep. No worries. You're human after all. However, before going there, there is something else I want to look into. Because this was something I found by complete accident. While also oh message was appraised. Nice. While also kicking myself in the dick for being an idiot. So while I was wandering around, I saw this scarab here, and I ended up chasing it off the cliff. And I noticed that there's more to this area than meets the eye. So I drop down here, here, and here. And if you jump down far enough, you meet oh, this no, guy. Didn't. Sweet. All right, cool. Did, did. Oh, you. I sorry, your worship. I apologize for any offense given. I am Pitya, servant to the Tarian royal family. I am charged with meeting this ghastly god. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is this a doll? I can't attack. This area is a safe place, so. I'm too tall. Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, like a uh, spell parry thingy. Garen Retaliation. Swing the shield to dispel incoming sorceries and incantations, transforming the magic into retaliatory clint blades. Can be used in the same way as a regular parry. By the way, I was looking up stuff about parries and checking shit out. Uh, that's one of the best things I've ever found. I yeah, don't. Definitely buy everything. I don't also, plan fuck on. Fuck weathered map. What's wrong with the weathered map? Oh, you'll buy it and understand that you can't fucking read it. it it's so horrible. It's so horrible. I did, and I did run into this person before, and I skipped through all their dialogue, but bought everything anyway. Uh, with teach. Uh. Yeah, skip through all their dialogue. What so that's. Oh, because you wanted to experience yeah. it. Alright, let's see. So this, this, this. And this. I'll buy the rest of the stuff later. But oh. the carrying thing, your parries! No, I don't, you bastard! I don't parry. <laughs> I don't care if you don't parry, it's so good, damn you! Then buy it yourself. Anywho. I did. Then why are you complaining? So where's the weather map? I don't believe it's within your maps section. It's like, you know, like, what do you do? No, not your actual map. Go back. <laughs> go back to your inventory. Oh, here. Go to your map section in your inventory. Yes. <laughs> Depict streak of amber light. Can you fucking read it? <laughs> sort of. I'm really? basically putting my nose to the screen, but I can kind of make some things out. I'm guessing it's some kind of underground tunnel somewhere. Underground tunnel with streaks of amber light, so that's why I've always been confused. So that means it's probably very close to the earth tree. That's why I assumed. But I'm near the earth tree, and uh, well, I'm not really near it. I'm near it, but not near it. I think mm. I can see it. What else did I get? I, don't know. I forget. I don't know. Look more, I guess. Oh, another thing. I did find uh, one of the artist's places, and I got this from it. This said something interesting. Juvenile Scholar Cap. Cap worn by young academy scholars, the juveniles bred anew by the amber egg of Queen Ranala, the head of Rhea Lucaria's academy. Yet their rebirth is not without imperfections, and thus do, do they repeat the process, eventually becoming utterly dependent upon it. Rebirth is as sleep to them, and with each awakening, men, memory fades into oblivion. That's very disturbing. Up. Very. Entirely too fucked up. Reminds me a lot of the undead and uh, Dark Souls. Mm. Yeah, actually. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, let's go talk talk to Queen. No, Princess. Princess? Queen? Whatever. Rani. He, mean, he means the hollows. Hmm? And yeah, I think she's a princess. I think she's a princess. Her mother's still alive, isn't she? Oh, right. She is. I bet she's not going to be very happy about it, because I'm guessing that she's going to be the main boss for this area. Like Godric. <laughs> so let's go see Queen Rani and see what she's all about. Well, Princess Rani. I can't believe you get the whole quest. Here I am, just fucking failing entirely. Shit, this is so upsetting. <laughs> ah, Giant butthole. What? <laughs> you'll, 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 you'll learn. What? Is there someone standing there at some point? You'll learn. I guess so. I ain't going in there. All right. 
I wonder if there's a boss up here. Maybe I'll have to fight Rani before she calms down. That was a surprisingly short elevator ride. Uh, you're too used to the goddamn giant ass, uh, <laughs> like the ones that could. Cap Hold on a second. That's not Rani. That's Rena. Wait. That's Rani. What? what? That's, that's Rani. Oh, no, that's Rena. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. Oh. It pleases yeah. me to see Torrent hale and hearty. But tarnished. What business has thou here? Good question. I have no memory of inconvenient invitation. <laughs> Basically, what the fuck you doing in my house? <laughs> you must be Rani the Witch behind the Knight of the Black Knives. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, wow. I am the Witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death. And used it to forge the god slaying black knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. A. It is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. Hmm. Wow. No wonder you're a puppet. So she is oh. a puppet. That explains the crack on her right. neck. I've been seeing a lot of art where she has, like, puppety stuff on her body, and that explains why. You have? Why have yeah. you been looking up art for this game? I haven't been. It just showed up on my Twitter. So where'd the body go? Did it, what, did it get up and walk off? All the same, thy begging compels me not a jot. Wow, this mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. Huh. The curse mark thou seekest now. You know, I thought she'd be nicer, she, but <laughs> uh, she, she is incredibly kind to me. This is. You are doing an entirely different pathway that I have no idea about right now. I'm guessing it's because you asked her a question that she didn't want to be asked. But anywho, let's go do the other progress. Because that when we last talked to someone, well, Blade, we were like, who the hell is Darawil and where the hell can we find him? Oh, it's just a different time of day. I was like, why is the sky fucking red? <laughs> uh, but who the hell is Darawil and where can we find him? Funny thing is, we both found him probably near the beginning of our playthroughs and we completely forgot. The Bloodhound, who gave me so much trouble, his name so is Bloodhound Darrowell. He was so easy to kill for me. <laughs> yeah, he was for me the second, third, and fourth time I fought him too. Yeah, because you knew his moves by then. But well, here yeah, he is. Been... Oh. oh. I guess you found Darrowell. Oh, fuck me. Right. To work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Read your crimes. Oh, thanks. Oh, yes. I say. Oh, okay. If you venture north to Rio Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith, huh? Large, say, tell him I sent you, and he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. Okay. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. See you later, Wolf Guts. Dude. I thought I fucking traveled enough, but no. Apparently I didn't at all. Not in the slightest. Apparently I traveled Oh, enough. right. If, I will tell you this, right? You want, if you want to find the third Shibiri Grape, go here. Yeah, you. Thanks. Alright. You didn't find that area, didn't you? 
You said that you weren't able to find some. I... I might have gone back. I, I don't really remember. I can't find her right now. The person I'm supposed to give the grape to. Uh, I'll show you where. Anywho. She, I don't think she stays in place. Here to put my old bones to work again. Blade sent me. Line actually did that. Indeed. Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sent he something unusual about you. At any rate, if your friend leave him blind, I've something else that might suit you. Give me his armor. Uh, <laughs> huh. Interesting. Oh, you, I got that without being friendly. Alright, this is weird. I'm I, so confused. I do not have the souls for that, so I will come back and get it later. It's pretty good. Oh, definitely, especially with me since I use weapon skills a lot. Mm -hmm. Anywho. Oh, he's not here. Who? Uh, the, uh. What's his name? The dude I gave the needle to. Oh, no, no. He leaves. I wonder where he went. Uh, yeah. The guy from Say Rose here? I, I wanna cry. Rani cast off her curse mark. Oh. Only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Why on earth Wait. would she accept us as her Wait, vassal? Yeah. There's another thing. Roger's proposition. Oh. You're not gonna read it? It's gotta be the same thing. Can you become Ronnie's it vassal is? to advance our See? Oh, okay. While in her service, you'll be able to determine the location of her. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself oh. in grave danger. But I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the only one. Okay. When death is meaningless to you, what's its even danger? Like, oh no, I'm gonna die. Imprisonment. So? Well, that, that's that's what danger is. You're asking. <laughs> I'm just answering. I really don't see how that would be dangerous either. Oh no, I'm gonna spend forever in a safe place. Yeah, it's place like, fucking horrible. In a place like this, being imprisoned is like the least of your worries. If you can't die in a place like this, and you're gonna spend all eternity in a fucking cell, I'd go insane. I wouldn't, because I'd last longer than the cell. Anywho, Rani or Rena, can I have your hat? Teach would really like that hat. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. Yo, can I serve you? Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst rend me a... Is that thy proposal? Affording myself opportunity to grope about for... See? <laughs> She's smart! Mm. Very well. What? There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service. And good hunting to thee. Cool. I don't get her... Why is she agreeing to this if she doesn't want me to see her body anyway? Uh, I don't think... I, I have no real clue. Maybe she just didn't care. <laughs> She's like, yeah, fuck you, then stop asking me. Proceed with haste. There is my service. Oh ho! <clears throat> Here we are. I would have thee join yep. him in searching for the hidden treasure. Oh, shit. The eternal city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him 
the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis. Salavis? And the sorceress arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. I met Eiji, but I don't know about the other person that she mentioned. In my opinion, he's a prick. Yeah, but where is he? Is he... Did I talk to him? No, that was the Albanatic. Yeah, you've never talked to him. I hope he's down here, too. It's a shame that I'm not doing sorceries with this person. Oh, fun fact. I wanted to do sorceries with this person that I couldn't fucking find a staff. Every other character I've had found a staff in Limgrave, no fucking problem. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> so, here's Easy. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Easy, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I'm told that you are searching for Nokron with Blind. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. <laughs> I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me. My fellow, let us give all that we can of ourselves together for Lady Rani. If I were to hazard a guess, at the minute I have potentially five different endings I can acquire. One with Rani or Rena, one with Vare, one with D, and one with Rajier. And that's not even to mention the uh the dude that sells miracles in the round table hold. What about all you can? The, you mean is Vare the all you can see guy? Like every sees everything guy? All you? All no, Vare is the uh, dude over here. That's like go invade people and kill them and blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, that bitch. The all hearing dude. I think I honestly don't know if there is an ending with him. Because I feel if we go down his quest line, assuming he has one, he's just gonna try and betray me no matter what. So, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I have no idea about this guy that you were talking about who just wants you to kill everybody. Very. Very? Oh, the woman? Very. White Mask Very. The dude that's like, uh, go invade people. Here, take these bloodied fingers or whatever. You know, the dude yeah, that's I... like, you're maidenless. No, 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 I, I know him. I just didn't know he had a quest. He just disappeared on me. Huh. Fuck, there's a lot of things that I missed, huh? Apparently. <laughs> Long time, friend. Life. Have you forgotten it? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limbo. The eternal city of Nokra lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below to the well and mystery. See if I can't find the road to knock on from there. I'm going below to the well. See if I can't keep you waiting. Yeah? Follow him. That, uh... Don't that's, do what I did. That's the thing. Is there a time limit? Do I have I, to go do this, like, right now if I, I want to continue no the quest? fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. Please do it right now, dude. I I need you to. <laughs> huh. So this is the giant butthole. I see. Fucking asshole. You must be Rani's new hiring. Yeah, I don't like him. Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Celebis, preceptor in the sorcerer's arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial. Well, I really don't like him. Yeah, he's an ass. The same lady, Bitch is racist. <laughs> you know what? Good, good message. <laughs> Come 
pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I know it's not possible, but man, my character looks even more tired after just speaking to this guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, he does exist in a place close by. Yeah, he's either in this tower or this tower. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon enter my and it will be some tie have high look. So, um, hmm. I'm guessing that, I think there is a time limit because she's right now sleeping on my end. Yeah, and I'm guessing if I go and do the boss, which is her mom, she won't really be happy with me when she wakes up. Yeah, probably not. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I still did it. I won't do it probably a good idea yeah before we go we go forward however there are still a couple of things that i wanted to check out some more things that i ended up running into with other characters but first let's go talk to the giant ball please do the thing too that's the plan calm your titties also where what happened to the dragon is it just gone forever now that's annoying. I have annoying. no fucking idea, but I've met another dragon who was kicking my ass for a minute, and then I almost beat it, and then it's just like, nah, fuck you, peace. It's yeah. the same exact thing, and I'm like, oh, you all are- I was so annoyed. I'm like, that's a badass with a fucking sword. Why is it running from me? Hey, the same person I fought with had a lightning sword. He ran. Oh, <laughs> here yeah, he is. He has a mask, just like Vary. Is it that everybody with these sorts of masks are dicks? Probably. Well, well, it covers his mouth. He should just stop. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. Oh, yeah? I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. What? Even you can do that much, can't you? What kind of potion are we talking about? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Does not tell you. Find Does not tell you. Ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings and soon. I am guessing this is some I, kind of poison, ain't it? I'm just assuming it too. I I he never fucking says. And he doesn't tell me where the fuck Nefeli is, and I'm just like, really? I'm guessing we're just supposed to find her at some point. Who knows? Maybe if we timed this correctly, I could have just ran into her at the Albanax vi village. Oh, you could have... You could read uh, the thing, though. That was the plan. I just want to see what was up here first. Let's see. Small flask received by a per Perceptor Selvis containing a cloudy tonic of bluish black. Find the felly and then ensure she drinks it. I'm guessing one slash if I do that, she'll start selling spells. Maybe. So, if it is poison, then I'm going to have to do that with Teach. Ensure she drinks it, that is. So, Teach is going bad. I don't know if it's bad. No, I mean, I'm saying it's Teach going like the... Well, alright, I guess you don't know if Sylvus is bad. I don't know if he's bad. Either. I don't know either. If he's but, just a prick but, or if he's just blunt, I'm not sure. But are you... Is there anybody you're planning on going the bad route? Yeah, at. Ah, oh. uh, right. She's gonna be the one that's doing what Vary suggests, which is invade people and whatnot. Hmm. This place is still have, blocked off. I have another idea of what to do for that, too. Alright. So, the second thing I want to check on... 
it was right here that I completely missed with uh, Nero for a while. And then just randomly ran into with Teach and Female Guts and everyone else. Um, which is... Uh, we end up finding Dielos' uh, page. Or whatever he called it. Her servant? Something or another. It was somewhere around here. <laughs> Names. All these names. The dude that looks like he's from Game of Thrones, and there he is. Oh. Uh, uh. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant, Lanya, and I refused to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. They laid hands upon my servant, Lanya, and I refused the tale of House Hoslo. Uh, I think I know what to do. Yup, I assumed that this had something to do with Vary. Surprisingly, it doesn't. No, I know. That's about. Oh, don't worry. I know about it too because I accidentally <laughs> did the, did part of the quest. God. Well, what? I got it... up to this point. Ah, you again, is it? The recusant sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did, I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all. It's on Mount Gelmir. I... Found off the old road that leads west from the town of Now Lewis. I understand why That's this guy hide. disappeared. The manor on the peak. Just you wait. The tale of how. That is how far I got with him. I... So. Hmm? This entire area for me, everybody's gone. Yep. I understand now why he's gone. He went to go and avenge his Lania. Crash. Alive, Ironic. Pyromancers yeah. dying to fire. Actually, a lot of their spells, like one of the spells that I have that like cleanses you from Scarlet Rot and all that shit. Um, apparently, it says that they want that shit. They want to. I have that spell too. Didn't know that they wanted to get infected though. That's it. Never read it. Yeah, I always forget to read spells. Ah, you being an idiot, I see, I see. Uh oh. I have no idea how we missed it. Only in a game like this will I end up fighting fast and furious. Forget what? To drink your potion and then kill the person so you get your potion back. Yeah. So, this was the hey, other place that I found. You're just gonna ignore the death person behind you? Not worth my time. Damn. There's a piece of death guy. Actually, I guess he's not even resting in peace. Fuck. It's even worse. Depends upon your point of view. This is where you end up cleansing your sins. And this is the dog. God damn it. I welcome you to the church of dogs. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. 
Can't see the earth tree from. Oh, there it is. The capital. That's where I need it. You are free to show yourself alone. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless perhaps you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. You have no. Wait, what? Hey, he's a cool guy. He sells. Huh. Interesting. Ah. So this is where you get the great sword. Magic coin blade. Definitely gonna be coming here with Teach. Wait, why don't I? Why can't I? What the fuck? What? Blah blah. Hey, okay, come back here. Hmm. All right. My face does yeah, you're not gonna talk. The miracle rooted in these grounds. You are once again men of the world, and this time. Its bounty will not be squandered if you would be only more tarnished. I hope that you too will share my faith. Hmm. I'm not sure shit with this guy. Experience the miracle. What's wrong with this guy? He's nice. No, he is. I don't believe in his faith. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strange. Yes, please. Hmm. Yeah, I knew that. Oh. I was going to say, I'm glad that they decided to, you know, touch about how Radigan did all that to be Renal and then just left her behind. But. Let's look at what the definition of consort is, shall we? Uh, according to Google, the definition of a consort is... Uh, a wife, husband, or companion, in particular the spouse of a reigning monarch, rather than being yeah. a monarch themselves. A consort typically has sort of negative connotations. So, when... Like, look at Queen Victoria, right? Prince Albert is considered her consort. 
It's why he's simply a prince rather than a king. So when you say king consort, it's strange. They say king consort just now? Mm-hmm. Oh. Radigan is the king consort and one of the Elden Lords. So how does a consort be considered a king, and how does a consort become an Elden Lord? Radigan be weird. Mm-hmm. But what about Renala? Yep. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the Gnomes, she was locked away from the Grand Library. Okay, I feel bad about her. Yeah. Like, compared to Godric, who is a bitch-ass motherfucker, I feel pity for her. Mm. Ah. Golden sewing needle, golden tailoring tools. Special sewing needle for demigod attire? One of the tools brought by Red Radigan when he entered into the marriage with Renala. And tailoring tools made of gold. Brought by Red Hair of Radigan. With these, even demigod attire can be altered as a sign of grace. Demigod attire? Also, it was night when I started talking to this dude. Now it's evening <laughs> again. Yeah, he talks slow like a turtle. You got anything else to say? Nope. Yeah, I did. Yep. Interesting. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone. Cradling the amber elf, Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden right, the grim art of reincarnation. Yikes. Too well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. I can imagine. And a miracle? To experience the miracle, mere absolution oh. Oh wait, no. Talked about that already. Yeah, you already did. And talked about this already too. So, wait, did I already sever the vow? I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> so, from like what- Like gameplay is very weird. <laughs> I did check this out earlier, uh, yeah. and it said the same thing. You don't need a solution. It's because I haven't attacked anyone. Basically, Thank that's sort of like, uh, the Confessor in Dark Souls 1. If you do anything to piss off an NPC, you come here to fix it. Yeah, essentially. Mm hmm. But either way, before carrying on. Yeah. I have heard that there is another boss right inside here. Oh, right, this fucking asshole. Oh. Oh boy, here we go again. Ow. Really, really hard. I forgot that you could do that. Okay. I can give you a number of people. Can they wield one as tall as their body and half as thick as their body? Yes. Have you heard of someone called the Fume Knight? Someone alive. 
The Fume Knight. Oh, real people. <laughs> Jesus. No, I know the Fume Knight is wielding a sword that's like tw even taller than them. The fuck? <laughs> that guy is just a monster, but like, yeah, someone real. Uh -huh. someone, like, realistic. Well, there is a dude that uh, was famous during one of the modern day wars for wielding a turret like it was an LMG. Wow! Two-hit McGee over there, Jesus. <laughs> he wields a turret like an LMG. I want to look this guy up. Yeah, but that was the only cool thing about him. Apparently, he was like part of the Taliban or something. Oh. Okay. Let's try something a little different this time. Nice dodges. Oh, it worked. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, and maybe watch some more. Be seeing ya.